to the Sunday service. Uh, if you could uh, please tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Makiba, and I'm from Canada. And Makiba, can you please tell us what is the amazing testimony that God has done for you in your life? Okay. It all started in 2012 when I came to the conference that Wiseman Harry had here. And, um, sorry. Yes, and, and I had come here for screening, and in my, what the testimony I'm going to tell you, I did not tell anybody when they were writing down um, when we have to explain why we came and our purpose. I hadn't told anybody anything. It was just between me and God because I said, if they're real, then I'll get delivered. And that's what happened. So then when I was in the prayer line on the Sunday, it was the last prayer line, wise man Harry came and he prayed for me. And he turned to me and he said that there is a man that acts as my husband within my dreams. So I, and it was true. I did have a spiritual husband. I was the only person that knew about it. And um, So you mean to say that nobody knew about your problem that you were having? No, nobody. I was the only person that knew. I didn't tell anyone at all. Okay, and so when he came to pray for you, what did he say? He turned to me and he said that there is a man that acts as if he is your husband in your dreams. And when you were having these dreams, were they very often? What was happening? Uh, multiple times a week. So yes, very often. And can you please tell and tell the congregation that is listening, how is this affecting your life uh, when you were experiencing this spiritual husband, those tormenting dreams? Um, I would be feel isolated around other people. Um, I wouldn't be able to make friends very well and keep them. Also, um, I would be very angry. So any little situation, even if it's something you should just be annoyed, I'd be angry and I could be hostile and very impatient. Okay, and once he prophesied to you and told and confronted the situation, what happened next? Um, at first, I didn't feel anything, and as the ladies that were singing up here, they were still singing. I just kept singing and believing that um, I would get my deliverance. And as the, as the, um, even when the singing stopped, I noticed I started getting lighter and lighter and lighter and feeling better. And when I went to sleep that night, never had it again. Wow, come on, give a hand of applause. So this uh, prayer and prophecy and service was in 2012. It is 2015 right now, so it's been three years. Can you please tell us your progress and what you've observed once you received that deliverance? Um, I am no longer get agitated very easily. Uh, even if I have a situation with someone we don't agree, a week later we can talk and get along very well, and there's no problems. Um, I'm very friendly now, and people are very friendly with me, even people I don't talk to say I'm a very wonderful and nice person, so that's great to hear. Um, yeah. Can you tell us, have you been having those dreams ever since, since you said before that they were happening quite often, multiple times through the week, are you experiencing any now? No. Wow, come on, give her another hand of applause, you guys. That's amazing. And now that you received the deliverance and it's been three years with no of those tormenting dreams and you've seen progress in your own personal life, what can you tell those that are watching and listening here? What, would, what can you say? What can you encourage them with? Um, when you go and you believe in your heart and you talk to God and you tell him you want your deliverance, believe that he's going to do it for you. Even if you don't feel an immediate change, don't let that be something that causes you to doubt. Just believe even more and press forward. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You can take a seat. Come on.